Does your skincare have pegs and should you care? Hey guys, I'm Dr. Whitney Bo, board certified dermatologist. And in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you all about pegs. Are pegs those little toys we used to play with in our light bright? That is a toy that definitely needs to make a comeback. Yes, are pegs also a new ingredient that are getting a lot of attention in terms of are they safe? Should we be avoiding them in our skincare, in our cosmetics? Yes. Are pegs an example of fear mongering? Well, that's what this video is about. So over the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about pegs and whether you should actually care if they're in your products. Pegs stands for polyethylene glycol, and you may see them listed on an ingredient list as PEG, capital PEG, dash a number. So peg 40, peg 50. Now, pegs are used in tons of different skincare products, cosmetics, different th toiletries, things you're gonna find in your bathroom for a number of reasons because they actually do a, a number of things that we find beneficial when it comes to our skincare. They can act as humectants, they can act as skin conditioning agents, they can act as surfactants, they act as emulsifiers, so they help the sort of oil and water parts of a formulation to mix well. So basically they, um, give a lot of the aesthetic properties to a product that, that people like when they put on a product that they actually spent money on, right? You know, it feels nice, it feels silky, um, you don't have to shake it up before you apply it because everything is well blended. So you can imagine that pegs have been incredibly useful uh, to the cosmetics industry for many years. You might have noticed that there are some skincare brands, well-known brands, that are actually taking the time to reformulate some of their best-selling products, their hero products, right? They're, they're going back to the drawing board and they're actually reformulating without pegs. And you'll also notice that pegs are on a lot of those dirty lists that are coming out, both from brands who uh, claim to be clean, as well as retailers that are trying to avoid potentially controversial ingredients in their skincare products. Why are pegs getting such a bad rap and are they an ingredient um, that we should really be concerned about. Well, the thing is that pegs themselves are not dangerous, but during their production, when they're being manufactured, carcinogens are used and carcinogens are released and carcinogens are produced. And those carcinogens are ethylene oxide and 1,4-dioxane. Nowadays, most people make sure that even if some of those carcinogens are created or released during the processing of pegs, the end result, that final peg that's included in the formulation is not contaminated by any carcinogens. So as a consumer, if you're getting a product and it says peg 40 or peg 50 on the label, there's a very, very, very low, you know, if any risk that there's any actual carcinogen in that product. End of conversation, right? This is just one of those ingredients that, you know, we can chalk up to fear mongering with this whole clean beauty movement. Well, not so fast. Let's take a deeper dive. So when you're processing these pegs, there are workers in many of these manufacturing facilities, right? And these workers are spending hours and sometimes, you know, if they, if, if, during the processing of the pegs, there's even tiny amounts of one of these carcinogens being released you know, into the environment, then potentially those workers are being exposed. And yes, even if the amounts are tiny, if those workers are spending hours at a time you know, exposed in that environment, that exposure might become cumulative, theoretically. So is there potentially a risk to the people, to the workers, who are part of the manufacturing of the pegs, there's a theoretical risk there. Now there's also a theoretical risk to the environment, right? So, you know, if there are these tiny amounts of say 1,4-dioxane being released into the environment and it's not being recaptured during the manufacturing process through those chemical processes, you know, is there a potential risk that those uh, ingredients are actually going to damage our planet? In theory, Yes, for the most part, manufacturers are taking precautions to ensure that no amount of carcinogen is being released into the working environment or into our global environment 
um, during the manufacture and processing of the pegs. Is there a teeny weeny chance that a little bit of ethylene oxide or a little bit of 1,4-dioxane is being released during the manufacturing process, maybe, you know, getting out into the room or into the environment. There's a little, little, little risk, right? A really small one. And that's where this whole area just gets a little murky because there are brands and there are retailers that are not willing to even take that tiny, tiny little chance, right? And they're taking the better safe than sorry route and they are proudly listing free of pegs uh, on their products or they're listing pegs in their dirty list. This is a classic example of how the world of clean beauty can get a little messy. And the thing that I like about the clean beauty movement is that it's forcing us to have these very honest conversations, but we have to take an evidence-based approach, right? We have to look at each one of these ingredients and talk honestly about like, oh my gosh, is, are we, is this toxic for you to use this product? Or is there, you know, something a little bit more complicated going on here? So thanks for joining me today. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, I will list some of my favorite peg-free products below and check out this playlist on other skincare ingredients that you might be interested in. All right, until, until next time, guys. Take care.